Hi, everyone. I'm David Davis, a.k.a. Rainbow Runner. And listen to this. Um, I was just... I've been watching um, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban on VHS. Um, it's rewinding right now, but listen to that noise. It's, 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 it's got to be coming from that particular VHS cassette. Um, and... And I, I noticed that when I was actually watching the movie, and once it's done rewinding, um, I'll take it out and kind of show you a particular cassette. Um, I'm not sure what's going on with it, like why it's making that noise or whatever. I don't know if it's like something with the reels or something. I mean, it, it plays fine, it's just, the it makes the weird noise and stuff, because I've heard that even if, like, the little levers or in, inside the cassette get disassembled, the, like, the ones that prevent you from despooling the tape, I, even if they do, like, get disassembled or something, the tape will still be playable, it's just the reels can move around freely in the VCR. Uh, anyways, um, this is my Magna, that's my Magnavox DVD VCR combo that I've had in this for a while. This used to be in my sister's room at my old house, but she didn't really use it much anymore after that. And We should be getting close to it being done rewinding. And this is a shout out to um, some people like... Oh. Alright. Checking. Yeah, this is a shout out to um, people like um, Andrew's Movie Corners and other people who like to collect VHS stuff. VHS tapes. And... You see, there's the print day, which is reading October 13th of 2004. All right, let's take this take this out. Slowly. I always take it out slowly just in case it, it eats the tape or something. Yeah. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Ink label. It has black reels in. The, the reels sound really loose. Real, get it? I had to make a pun there, but. Like, that that's not really normal. But, but other than that, I think the it just, it, it plays fine. Although it does make that. Um, I'm trying to, hang on. Yeah, the film strip does look perfectly fine, so. I don't know, but I did. I did recently get this at a um, at Zia Records, um, and I collected a few VHS. Um, oh yeah, and here's the here's the case for the. And of course, you got Harry, Year Three, and Ray PG. It's out 142 minutes, which is two hours and um, 22 minutes. Um. I'm trying to put this tape back in. And I'll, I'll show you my the other tapes I found that I picked up at at Zia. And two of which um, I, I watched um, the, the past couple nights and stuff. So I, I got the, the, the first two Harry Potter movies as well. This is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Now this one has white reels and has a print date of April 14th, 2005. I believe this is the 2002 VHS. Am I, this might just be a reprint because, um, because it has, um, it does not have the Coca-Cola 
commercial that I've seen, I've looked up. Um, that, um, I'm not sure if the real sound really loose. Huh. I'm not sure. But it does have like a couple of like extended or de and deleted scenes, never before seen footage. And, and I did also get um Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. And I do have all these on DVD as well. And there's Dobby on the back. Um, I watched um, both this and Sorcerer's Stone last uh, the past couple nights, and they played perfectly fine. They didn't. They did not have like the shaking. Um, this is um February tenth, two thousand five. It might just be a reprint, but um. Now, I don't know if, I guess the reels might be a little shaky, but I don't think it's anywhere as bad as how it was with Prisoner of Azkaban. But, um, another VHS I picked up, um, that, uh, I was, um, for Star Wars Episode Two: Attack of the Clones, which I do plan on watching soon as Django Fett on the other side, Anakin with the two lightsabers, um, top is same... Back the saga continues. Da, da, da. I think this tape is is better though. Um, you got your ink label, Star Wars Episode Two. I don't know if you can see it, and I don't know if there's a print date because I know this is a 2002 VHS. Hmm. But I do plan on watching this next time I do a Star Wars marathon. Which I definitely do want to do before episode nine comes out, and I guess I can show you um my all my Star Wars VHS stuff in another video. And this is kind of a shout out to um Nathan P. Butler, the creator of From the Star Wars Home Video Library. All right, well, I think that'll be all for this video, guys. And I'll make more content soon, hopefully. I just want to kind of mix things up about what I upload on my channel. Yeah, again, this is my Magnavox DVD VCR combo that used to be my sister's in her room at my old house. But it's but now I pretty much use it now. Anyways... Thanks so much, guys, and, and I'll see you next time. Rainbow Runner will be signing off for now.